Uh, do we have a name for it? <laughs> Toasty. Toasty, the interactive toaster. Hi, my name is Andrew Brace. I'm a prototyper here at Quirky. We have 3D printers and CNC machines, but whenever we first start to prototype our ideas, we typically use materials as simple as cardboard or paper, things you'd have at home. It's cheap and easy to be able to get a sense of size and scale and form, and it's just a very approachable material. For the sake of illustrating our prototyping process, we decided to create an interactive toaster. It has a touch screen that allows you to draw your own design and it will replicate that design by burning it into your toast. Before you jump straight into it, it's always a good idea to try to sketch out your idea to figure out roughly the size and shape of it and also give you an idea of how much material you're gonna need and how you might approach cutting and gluing and things like that. We start off with a box, as simple as possible. We cut out our six sides, we tape them together, figure out some of the details and the size and scale of the knobs and the screen. After the first model, we had a better idea of what we wanted the final prototype to look like. We were able to use less pieces, which you end up having a more refined looking model because you don't have as many part breaks. In order to achieve these rounded edges, I incorporated a technique called scoring, where you cut just the surface, but not quite all the way through, and that lets you bend the material in various ways. The lever detail on the side of the toaster, the design called for a round knob, and to achieve that in cardboard, we basically cut a series of circles that got smaller as you went towards the outside and stacked them up to build up the three dimensions. It's actually really challenging to cut a curved line into a piece of cardboard. Instead of trying to take it all at once, you make several small cuts to round out the edge. The whole purpose of prototyping is to get that idea out of your head and put it into some sort of format that other people understand. With a little thought and creativity, you can convey any idea to anyone and it helps you make informed decisions about your refinements later on in the process.